Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, the MedPod Engineer, and today I was in London, Ontario for Mike Spottiswood, who got back his Honda automobile, which had been seized when he was transporting some plants around of medicinal marijuana for almost two years. So he was a pretty happy, happy camper to get his uh, seized uh, automobile back. He had applied to the provincial court to get it. Judge said, sorry, no jurisdiction. Crown has a total power. Then he went to superior court, and the judge said, sorry, no jurisdiction. Crown has total power. And then he went to the court of appeal and said, one of them's got to have power to give me back my, you know, my wheels. My knees are hurting. And uh, before the court of appeal could decide who had the power to give him back his wheels, the Crown gave him back his wheels and said, ah, because we gave him back his wheels, it means we retain the power to not give him back his wheels. So, the challenges to the no jurisdiction decisions were thrown out because they gave him back his wheels. Imagine that. All right, here we are at McKenzie's. Auctioneers and towers where they have stowed uh, Mike Spottiswood's Honda for the last two years. And he's going to be getting it out. It'll be coming out now. The tow truck's in the back there. That certainly could not be driven until the rusty brakes and things are checked. So, today's the day, November the 1st. Mike Spottiswood gets his car back after just almost 22 months. Beautiful. I'll come and get it. This is a famous Honda! <laughs> yes, sir! Long wait! Victory! Now on to round two! Not many people win their car back before it's over! That's how much pressure we put on them! See ya! So anyway, another issue is going to the Supreme Court of Canada. Do the judges below both <clears throat> have no oversight over the Crown Attorney's control over seized vehicles? Or did one of them have the power to give it back? Now, the Crown thinks that they uh, mooted the appeal, got it aborted by giving back the car, and we're saying that that wasn't even decided and that wasn't even appealed because they didn't have the power to decide on giving back the car, though they wanted to, and a new judge might say no. So it wasn't even the decision under appeal, and the Court of Appeal basically dismissed the wrong issue. So we now have to go on to the Supreme Court of Canada and say that the government wants to keep these decisions that say the lower courts have no judicial oversight, and the Court of Appeal were tricked into thinking that this had to do with the car instead of jurisdiction and mooted the appeal, they say. And we're saying that they were wrong and that this is relevant and the appeals on jurisdiction should have gone forward and we want them to go forward because they're important. So this is not over, but it's going to be only paperwork and we don't expect much relief from the top courts. They never give. So that's it.